the, the, the spirit of prophecy came on me and the Lord said I shall now begin says the Lord to judge those who have trafficked in the spirit unauthorized I need you to, he said who have trafficked in the spirit unauthorized that means if you're in a pulpit or in a psychic shop if you are dealing with spirits that are unholy you're about to be ejected I shall now begin says the Lord to judge those who have trafficked in the spirit unauthorized who have wandered and toyed in that dimension making merchandise of my people and bringing deception on the land for this shall be a major judgment in the land says the Lord and it shall be seen beginning in my house for did I not say to you that this would be a year of the raising of the voice and the opening of the door to those who have been steadfast and unshakable and have been qualified through the shift of the last four years to speak for me and on my behalf did I not tell you that the time of harvest shall also be the time of sifting and the separating of the wheat from the tear are you there and so it shall be and now so it shall begin even in my house shall it begin says the Lord for watch now and see I shall employ the elements the wind and the storm to bring some down understand this and when you see this the Lord says for a major house shall in these days be brought down because they have neither sounded the alarm nor prepared my people for battle says and when the Lord said that to me I saw a major ministry being shaken are you here I said are you here hear the word of the Lord and he said and this will be a signal for when you see it know that I have begun to judge the spirit of sorcery of false divination and false vision says the Lord in the land in other words God said I'm about to judge false divination witchcraft spirits be they in pulpits or at the mall y'all aren't hearing me be that you're not listening because see God's got to get his people free from every witchcraft deceptive spirit whether it's in a pulpit or in a shopping center y'all aren't hearing me he says you shall see it then know that it's began I have begun to judge the spirit of sorcery and of false divination and false vision of them the spirit of the Lord said to me in 2024 he is gonna judge the spirit of sorcery in America witches witchcraft sorcery divination psychics manipulation in pulpits or in the mall I don't know what it is now why is this important he says then it shall go forth into the street and the sorcerer and the psychic and the teller of fortunes by fallen spirits shall be undone I'm gonna read that again then shall it, it shall go forth into the street and the sorcerer and the psychic and the teller of fortunes by fallen spirits shall be undone now when the Spirit of God was saying this to me what he was showing me is I'm about to bind witchcraft off a generation of people see the Bible says y'all aren't hearing me Woo! the Bible says if our gospel is hidden it is hidden from whom those from whom the God of this world has blinded their mind in other words he has bewitched the minds of people and they can't see truth there is a spirit of darkness on a generation and God says he is lifting it in 2024 that means a whole lot of people are gonna see Jesus for who he really is now watch this he says and I will loose the hold of the spirit of witchcraft on a generation in this nation says the Lord and many shall begin to see and to know that I am the Lord the God of heaven and earth the Lord of the harvest the God of the angel armies of Israel for they my angel armies are now engaged and ready to perform my word as my people see hear and declare it says the Lord and yes they shall hasten to perform it says the Lord of hosts declare this declare it to my people and prophesy it to the cities 
I need you, my intercessors, to hear. God said, prophesy this to the city. Prophesy to Los Angeles. Prophesy to Chicago. Prophesy to, to Dallas. Prophesy to Miami. Prophesy to New York. Prophesy to Denver. Witches and warlocks and spirits of divination are being broken. Why is God calling the unprofessional prophetic? Why is he saying all hands on deck? I am telling you, in the next 30 days, we will either awaken in November to a goat nation or a sheep nation. I need you to hear me. And I need you to hear me. The time of decision is over. The time of weighing is over. Like Elijah said, how long will you halt? between two opinions if this God that we say is the God of this Bible is God time to serve him and if he's not then time to do something else but this is the moment I need you to grab your neighbor's hand and say this is the moment of decision let me tell you something Satan did not want me in this pulpit today preaching this he wanted me out of here last week but he lost I need you to understand You don't have to believe me and you don't have to understand it, but I know what I'm saying. Pay attention. We will either awaken to a nation that is a goat nation or a sheep nation on November the 6th. And then certain things will begin to be leveled. Watch what happens. Between now and the election, you will see storms begin to hit both coasts, east and west. You will see winds and storms. Why? Because the Spirit of God is sending indications that winds are about to blow. We are watching Hurricane Milton very closely at this hour. It could wind up being the strongest hurricane to hit the Tampa Bay area in a century. 165 miles an hour. Now one of the strongest hurricanes ever recorded in the Gulf. A team of hurricane hunters witnessed the force of Milton firsthand flying into the eye wall to collect data rocked by severe turbulence. Revelation chapter 7, verse number 1. Watch this. It says, And after these things I saw four angels standing at the four corners of the earth, holding the four winds of the earth. In other words, the angels had custody of winds, of storms, and they are holding back storms of destruction from the earth. I saw four angels standing the four corners of the earth holding the four winds of the earth that the wind should not blow on the earth, on the sea or on any tree. Then I saw another angel descending from the east having the seal of the living God. In other words, this angel has directions from God that were just uttered. Y'all ain't saying nothing. And he cried with a loud voice to the four angels to whom it was granted to harm the earth and the sea. In other words, they are holding winds that are to bring destructions and storms on the earth and on the sea. They are getting ready to release the winds and let them destroy the earth. Then I saw another angel descending from the east having the seal of the living God and he cried with a loud voice to the four angels to whom it is granted to harm the earth and the sea saying, do not harm the earth, the sea or the trees till we have sealed the servants of God in their foreheads. Don't you blow until we got all God's people in position to be protected. Look at your neighbor and say, this stuff is real. You understand? And I am telling you, some of what we are seeing now is a foreshadow of what is going to happen in the next 12 months in this nation and the nations of the earth. If this nation does not hear the voice of the Spirit of God, and if the people of God do not open their eyes and see with the Spirit, there shall be storms and destruction and devastation, and you will hear it. We have never seen anything like this in this part of the country. We have never seen anything like this.